Alright guys, what we're looking at is a PDF file. It's the uh, effects of earthquakes, fault movements, and subsidence on the South Louisiana landscape. Now, I'm going to bring this on up a little bit and let you look at the map for a second. And you can just get an idea from that and then we'll move on down a little bit. Because there's important information here that you need to know about. So we'll go ahead and scroll on down a little ways and kind of read a little bit of this. And I'll put the link below the video, guys. I'm just kind of halfway stopping as I go down so you guys can pause the video and read it or do whatever you want. When we get on down a little bit, I'm going to read a little bit of it to you because it's, it's fairly important stuff. Like I said, guys, the southern part of Louisiana is becoming part of the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, introduction. Recent geological findings change forever our perception of the tectonic stability of South Louisiana. Let's go right here to brief history. One of the milestones in formulating the tectonic model was the recognition and demonstration that modern movement along ancient geological faults as shown in figure one that underlie Louisiana's coastal lowlands that's right down there where the Louisiana sinkhole is and that whole square box that I outlined uh, where between the Louisiana sinkhole the, that new well less leaking and BP oil spill uh, coastal lowlands okay so it says um, underlie Louisiana's coastal lowlands are a major cause of the catastrophic 20th century land loss. Now this is G Gagliano uh, 1999 and G Gagliano et al. 2003. We know now that more than half of the land loss is due to submergence and not edge erosion. The primary driving process is fault induced subsidence and not the eating away of the land along its edges by waves fault bound blocks underlying the coastal zones are sinking and tilting and are being inundated by the Gulf of Mexico okay guys that's all I'm gonna say I'll put the link here you guys can come down and read through this entire thing look at the pictures and understand what is going on in Louisiana okay when I tell you to get out of Louisiana if you live in that southern part guys that's where you need to be getting out of Louisiana, period. So you guys can come up here. And I'll leave the link. It's quite a lot of pages, guys. If you just want to look down through it. it tells you about the 1811 earthquake. The other uh, things that are going on. I mean, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of information, guys. So I'll just put the link up here. And let you guys uh, look at it and get your own information do your own research so that you know the truth guys don't go to man for answers if you're going online to do research more than likely your research is in error okay go with facts only guys not theories so I'll put the link below let me let's take a look at something real quick here's the earthquake map and we're looking at it just a probably about eight hours or so seven hours somewhere in there and up here off the coast of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Georgia, right here, we had that 2.7 magnitude earthquake. Okay, again, guys, the coastline from Texas all you know all the way through to, to Florida, this entire coastline is sinking down as the weight gets in there. You know, I've, I've covered all of this already in that video, uh, what is going on with your world. 
So if you want to go check it out, go check it out. If not, don't worry about it. But I'm just telling you guys that it, we, we, we've got more sinking going on um, right there. And now we're actually beginning to see the actual earthquakes pick up on USGS instead of the uh, earthquakes that we're seeing literally being monitored within the salt dome itself. So the land is moving. Like I said, guys, you've got a lot of extra weight in Louisiana because all this water, the Gulf of Mexico, is, is all coming up through this sinkhole. And we know that there's pressure because the wellhead right off of the coast here started leaking and uh, we know that the BP oil spill is right down here so now you've got literally a, kind of a triangle between all of it and what's going on so you can tell that the pressure has literally moved to the east a little bit um, as far as the sinkhole is concerned also you've got the 4.3 and the 2.5 on the east coast but like I said heads up for earthquakes as this all this weight is shifting and, and moving around and trying to work its way back out to the ocean it's going to shift and we saw the earthquakes on the New Madrid a while back and right there's one of them 2.6 2.5 you can see all the earthquakes and activity so like I said guys you know just heads up pay attention get the facts don't listen to the nonsense I mean as you can see guys we're looking at the last seven days and plenty of activity going on on the planet and you know again guys keep your eyes on Alaska uh, the Peru area here let's turn this back a little bit the Peru area right here is we already got a 5.9 in that area and also you want to be watching Indonesia that whole region right here literally all the way from um, Australia all the way up over to uh, this area in here so this whole area right here you need to keep keep an eye on of course the Japan area and then the Aleutian Islands all the way over to Russia so that's the main area as far as your earthquakes but again guys uh, you know the coast is sinking you should not be living on a coast and I had a, a dream the other day and now we got an oil spill reported by Exxon Mobil in Nigeria anyway I, I reported uh, the other day yesterday last night I had this dream and I don't dream at all and so I'm just gonna put this out here guys it's not fact it's, n it's nothing in fact I don't dream and so just the mere fact that I had this dream out of the blue wasn't thinking about it nothing just uh, kind of worries me a little bit I don't know if it means anything or if it means absolutely nothing uh, but what I saw was a tidal wave basically a tsunami or a huge 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 flood that's concerning the coast of the United States but I couldn't tell what coast it was and again guys like I said I have no idea if it means anything or it's just a, you know I just happen to have a dream for once in my life or what now I used to dream a lot when I was a little kid but since about 14 15 years old I just don't dream I don't dream at all so but uh, I did dream last night and very vividly and it was really chaotic what was going on but again guys I don't know if it means anything or not but just in case just again guys I've already told you to move off of the coastlines okay anywhere in the world guys anywhere in the world get off of the coastlines move up to where you're at least a hundred to two hundred feet above sea level period period whether it's a tsunami or the edges of the coastline sinking down under the weight or we've got the uh, glacier down in the South uh, Pole down there on Antarctica melting away and causing the, the, the ocean levels themselves to rise up uh, before the earthquakes snap and bring the sea floor down a little bit you know whatever I'm just telling you you don't want to be around any coastlines any longer and these hurricanes and stuff as we go further into the future are going to be going farther and farther and farther inland okay creating more and more flooding situations and again the only place you can get flood insurance is through the government okay that the normal insurance companies don't issue these things so just keep all these things in mind guys as we move forward uh, we've clearly saw that there was an earthquake off of the coast now of Georgia Mississippi Louisiana right in here and so just heads up guys as it continues to sink and as continues as things continue to deteriorate down there in Louisiana and again if you live in that very southern part let me zoom in here and show you I'll bring it I'll put a square up again just so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about here now, this is Louisiana right here and if you live anywhere in the area that I'm now highlighting that's the area that you want to leave the area okay again they, they have clearly explained that it's not from the ocean waves eroding away the shore the shore is literally sinking down okay you guys can go read the article read the whole entire article this is an actual document guys it's, it's, it's a fact it's not some man's theory 
you know it's just exactly what's happening and it has been demonstrated and absolutely proven that that's what's taking place so again guys heads up in Louisiana that's my main concern again for those of you that are being affected by Brutus very large system and again on that west east side of the system it is going to become intense as we go into the late hours tonight and into the morning hours tomorrow uh, for certain people uh, there is a I believe uh, that the uh, scale is at three for the tornado so 30 percent chance one in three out of three out of ten chance of, of, a, of a tornado in, in in specific areas so heads up on the tornadoes as well guys so I love you guys getting the word, stay in the word, and get the word in you. I'll talk with you guys soon.